12 asks us to rewrite uh, the equation uh, Celsius degrees Celsius equals 9 fifths times the quantity of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 so that the Fahrenheit is isolated carefully show your work well after our last two examples it shouldn't be much of a surprise the tact I'm going to take is I'm going to try and remove the fraction and in fact I'm not only going to remove the fraction I'm going to remove this entire thing that is sitting out in front of these parentheses being multiplied by f minus 32. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 ninths. And, and here's my thinking here. If I take the number 9 fifths, which is what I have, right, and I multiply that by 5 ninths, I see that I, in both cases I get 9 times 5, like 45 over 45 equals the number 1, right? In general, anytime you multiply a fraction by a reciprocal, you'll get the value 1 which is very convenient if you're trying to make a fraction go away. So here's my special make a fraction go away power. I'm going to take, um, and I'm going to multiply 5 ninths times C. And over here, I'm going to multiply 5 ninths times 9 fifths of, uh, times F minus 32. Again, what did I just do? I multiplied both sides very carefully by 5 ninths. My reason for doing that is I see that I can get rid of this fraction uh, stuff mumbo jumbo on the right hand side by doing exactly that. So this equation then becomes, uh, after I clean it up a bit, right, 5 ninths C and that equals F minus 32. That's nice. Because all I got to do now, remember my goal is to get F isolated. In order to get F completely by itself, I'm just going to add 32 to both sides. So again, here I'm using the addition property of equality. I'm adding the same thing to both sides. Over here I didn't say it, but I was multiplying both sides by the same value. And uh, nice, because now my final answer, I can see it at long last. It's 5 ninths times your degree Celsius plus 32 degrees um, will equal degrees Fahrenheit. All right, there's my answer.